today we're taking a look at the Atlanta Dream vs. Seattle Storm match, which is happening on Friday, July 2, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The Atlanta Dream faced off with the New York Liberty and went home with a win by a final score of 73-69 in their last contest. Atlanta ended the game with a 35.5% field goal percentage, 27 out of 76, and converted 7 out of their 18 three-point shots. From the charity strike, the Dream converted 12 of 16 attempts for a percentage of 75.0%. In relation to rebounding, they earned 34 with 12 of them being on the offensive end. They also doled out 17 dimes in the game while forcing 15 turnovers and getting 10 steals. Regarding defense, Atlanta let their opponent shoot 40.0% from the field on 24 of 60 shooting. New York recorded 7 assists and had 4 steals for the matchup. On top of that, New York totaled 36 rebounds, 7 offensive, 29 defensive, and had 3 rejections. New York finished the contest at 80.0% when shooting free throws by knocking down 12 of their 15 tries. They made 9 of 24 attempts from distance. The Dream are coming to this game after, picking up a win over the Liberty. The win for the Dream came with a final score of 73-69. With the win the Atlanta team moved to a record of 6-9 on the year. Tiffany Hayes ended up scoring a total of 17.6 points per game while shooting at a clip of 45.1% on the year. The passing for the Dream has been handled by Courtney Williams with 3.8 assists per game. Williams does lead the Dream in rebounding with 6.7 boards per game. Courtney Williams is a player who was a factor in the matchup. She totaled 18 points on 8 out of 17 shooting. She was on the court for 36.02 minutes played, and also collected 5 rebounds. Williams ended up going 47.1% from the field and dished out 4 assists. Another player that came through in this game for the Dream was Chenity Carter. She collected 1 rebound in 33.57 minutes on the basketball court. She finished 23.1% from the floor for this contest by going 3 of 13, 11 points. When the game finished, Carter tallied four assists. Atlanta will play this game with a mark of 6-9 to nine this year. They are averaging 83.2 points per game fourth in the league, while going 42.1% from the floor. The Dream are hitting 33.9% on three-point shots, 105 of 310, and 74.2% from the free throw line. As a unit, Atlanta is collecting 33.7 boards per game and has accounted for 266 dimes this season, which is 11th in the league in terms of passing the rock. They turn it over 12.3 times per game and as a unit are committing 19.4 personal fouls per contest. Defensively, the Dream have forced 16.5 turnovers per contest and they draw 18.4 fouls. They rank 8th in basketball and giving up assists to their opponents with 312 relinquished for the campaign. The Dream defensively are allowing a FG percentage of 46.5%, 247 of 276, and they surrender 35.9 boards per game as a team. They give up 39.5% on 3-point shots and they rank 11th in the WNBA and PPG from their opponents, 87.0, Seattle is coming here after losing in their last game. 
the loss was a high-scoring game against the Aces by a score of 95-92. The loss dropped Seattle to a 12-4 record on the season. Brianna Stewart is coming in with a total of 21.8 points per game while shooting at a clip of 46% on the year. The passing has been led by Sue Bird who has ended up with 6.1 assists per game. Stewart does have the rebounding lead for the Storm as well with 10.1 boards per game. The last time they took the hardwood, the Seattle Storm went home defeated by a final of 95-92 when they faced the Las Vegas Aces. The Storm collected 35 defensive boards and 8 offensive boards totaling 43 in the game. They turned it over 16 times, while getting 7 steals for the matchup. The Aces committed 16 fouls in this matchup which took the Storm to the charity stripe for a total of 9 attempts. They were able to make 8 of the free throw tries for a clip of 88.9%. Regarding shooting from distance, Seattle converted 8 of their 26 tries, 30.8%. When the final whistle was blown, the Storm went 38 out of 82 from the field which gave them a rate of 46.3%. The Storm allowed the Aces to knock down 35 of 80 attempts from the field which gave them a shooting percentage of 43.8% in the matchup. They shot 54.5% from 3-point range by going 6 out of 11 and ended up shooting 19 of 23 from the free throw line, 82.6%. When it comes to rebounds, Seattle permitted Las Vegas to collect 35 overall, 7 on the offensive side. My betting advice is to pick Seattle Storm minus 14. Brianna Stewart was important for the Storm in the game. She buried 14 of 26 in the game for a field goal percentage of 53.8% and had 11 rebounds. Stewart tallied 35 points in her 38-14 minutes of playing time and accounted for three dimes in this contest. An additional player who came through for Seattle was Sue Bird. She accumulated six dimes in 35-09 minutes played, and she converted three out of 11 from the floor. Bird ended the game having shot 27.3% from the floor while collecting seven points but no rebounds. Dream are 5-2 ATS in the last seven meetings in Seattle. Over a 6-2-1 in the last nine meetings in Seattle. The game here will be a challenge and the game here as the Storm are definitely not a team that has been challenged that much, not to mention the Storm are coming in after losing in their last two games. With the game here the Dream are on the road and the Dream have not been that strong of a road team which is what will lead to the Storm getting the win here. Seattle has a record of 12-4 on the campaign. As an offensive team, the Storm are connecting on 46.2% from the field, which is ranked second in basketball. Seattle has scored 1,410 points so far this year, 88.1 per contest, and they pull in 37.1 rebounds per contest. They are getting an assist 22.8 times per contest, first in the league, and they turn it over 11.7 times per game. The Storm commit 15.8 fouls per game while shooting 81.8% from the charity strike. The Storm defensively are ranked fourth in the league in PPG given up with 80.6. They relinquish 19.4 assists and 36.4 boards on a nightly basis, which is ranked seventh and ninth in basketball. The Seattle defense surrenders 30.2% on three-point attempts, 98 of 325, and opponents are converting on 77.1% of their shots from the charity strike. They are able to force 11.92s per game and have let teams shoot 42.5% from the floor, fifth in basketball. My second betting advice is to pick over. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.